guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm doing a video on my Chanel collection. It is very quaint. It is very little. Um, it is not very many items. I have three items from Chanel. I had a fourth item, but I sold it. Um, I wasn't using it. I didn't like it anymore. I want to get it in a different style. Same thing, different color, same leather, probably. Um, yeah, just different. I had a um, Timeless CC Chanel card holder in the black caviar leather, and I don't like the Timeless CC at all. That um, just regular, I just don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway, so guys, let's move on, and I will show you all about my new items. So, well, not new items. These actually, they are fairly new to me-ish. I would say the I've only had one of these items for not even a year yet. Everything else is newer than that. So newish items. Um, the We'll do from the first one I got to the last one I got. So this is a Chanel from Fashion File that my boyfriend bought me for Christmas as a surprise. Is this Lambskin Chanel Bifold card holder. It's just leaving us all out. Is this not beautiful in this dark blue lambskin with silver tone hardware in amazing condition there's very little wear if any the quilts are still just as puffy as always and it is beautiful this item I absolutely am in love with um, I do not use it, you know, all that often because it is lambskin, and I do not want to mess it up. So yeah, that is my Chanel Blue Lambskin um, Bifold Card Holder, and I love it. I really do. It is one of my very favorite, I think it is my favorite Chanel item that I have. I will never, ever in a million years ever get rid of that. Um, because it was a gift and because I've wanted that for years and years and he found it on there for me and surprised it Surprised me with it. It was amazing amazing experience <clears throat> um, I actually am thinking about applying to be a fashion file blogger or blogger or whatever you call them because I like I rep fashion file all the way from head to toe. I love fashion file I have quite a few items from fashion file. I'm doing an unboxing with fashion file soon. So yeah um then the next item I got was this and actually I switched up the dust bag this dust bag goes with the item I last showed you but I switched them up because the other one's lame skin this is my blue a dark blue caviar iridescent if you can kind of see the iridescentness it's like almost iridescent, but not. It's kind of a weird, weird color with light gold hardware. This is the O-Zip coin purse. It's got its authenticity card in here. And yes, I do have authenticity cards for all three of my items. I've never had a Chanel piece without an authenticity card. I would so buy one because I don't care as well. It would have to be from Fashion File if I did it, to be honest. I would. It would have to be from Fashion File. And then this is the little leather pull tab. This fits a ton. I love, love, love this piece. That This little piece inspired me to buy the Zippy Coin Purse from Louis Vuitton. Um, I will go over the prices as we're going. This one was, <clears throat> I want to pay. He, say he paid 600 for it because of the premium from Fashion File because it was in such great condition, but I think they retail for 500 or 475 or something like that. And then these retail for $5.50, at least in the store that I bought it. I bought this in the Chicago store. Um, I don't know, just to chop. It was a huge store in Chicago. And yeah, so I, well, kind of, I didn't buy this one. Actually, I bought another one that I was more in love with. Um, it was defective in the end. I had to send it back, and they sent me this one instead, which I picked. Which I do, I'm going to say this, I do regret picking this one. Only because whenever she sent me the pictures, she sent me a picture of both the bright yellow and of the iridescent, beautiful green. And I do not know why I did not pick that green. I am an idiot for not picking that green. And I want that green card order so bad. I want something in the green Chanel 
from last collection. It was amazing. Oh my god, yes. So, um, yeah, this is the Chanel Ozip coin purse. I love this. I recommend this. Everyone buy this. It is amazing. Um, and it fits in pretty much everything. It's kind of slim. It's small. It fits in your pocket. It fits in your bag. It fits everywhere you need it to go. Um, yeah. So, let's see. I'm going to put this in its little dust bag. Um, I do kind of worry about this stuff, this little fabric material here. But I feel like it's going to be okay in the end. It's not really going to wear that bad. And then the very last item I bought from Fashion File. So, Fashion File, Lambskin. In the boutique for um, Chanel in uh, Chicago. And then Fashion File again is my little um, Lambskin, which I love Lambskin. It is not nearly as delicate as everyone says it is. Um, this is the small O case in the lambskin with the light gold hardware and the dark blue. It matches this when it comes to leather, you know, mostly. They're a little bit different in the tiniest little shade, but um, this one has silver hardware and this one has light gold. And yeah, um, I absolutely love this piece. I did buy this for $4.95, so I saved a little bit of money because, um, I mean, not very much, like $60 because of tax, but I did because I couldn't find one of these in lambskin or even one of these, period, in a um, store at the time. And at the same time, I wanted the blue and I wanted it to be with um, the light gold hardware and I wanted it to be caviar. And so when I saw it and I was like, I can save a few dollars on it, I must snag it up. Um, it came with the authenticity card, the dust bag, the box, the camellia, the ribbon. It came with the whole nine yards, and that was so exciting to me. Actually, everything I've ever bought from Fashion File when it came to this, um, to Chanel, has come with everything. Um, yeah, so I love this little piece. This piece does fit a little bit less than all my other sh uh, all my other little cosmetic cases, but it is worth it. I love it. It's definitely a piece that. I have considered selling, but I don't think I ever will because it is just such a nice piece. And when it comes to your collection, I've only sold, I want to say three or four items. No, I've sold five things for my collection. One of which I bought back, one of which I am buying in a different, two of which I bought in a different style. Um, one I just didn't like. And one I bought back again. So, yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. So, I sold my Chanel. I'm buying that in a um, quilted. I sold my Toiletry 26. I bought that again. Um, I sold my, um, this weird dummy bin zippy wallet thing that just didn't fit anything. And I hated that thing. And it was like $400 too. And I sold that for like $220. Like three days later because I didn't want to go back to New Orleans really bad decision in the selling and not returning and all those things bad decisions anyway um so I sold that I'm never buying that thing again I just used that money to buy something else I don't remember what I bought um I sold my uh blue epi Louis Vuitton card case I don't know why I sold it it was kind of dumb to sell it it had my initials in it and I only got like a hundred dollars for it I totally definitely never sold that um but yeah I don't regret it to be honest no, it was a gift and from someone that I no longer talk to, so I don't really care anymore. And then, um, what else did I sell? I sold one other thing. I sold my, um, my phone case to my last phone and then bought the new one, so that doesn't even count. Yeah, so guys, y'all have a great day. Let me know if you want me to do more videos, and I kind of like this sitting on the ground. This is where I originally started doing videos, which is with this background. Let me know if y'all like it or if you want me to turn it back around towards um, this area with all of my luxury items. Or let me know if you like it like this. Do you like it where I'm sitting on the ground? Look, it's got my Gucci shoes there. And I have Michael Kors duffel bag here. And all these clothes and things because I'm packing. So yeah, um, y'all have an amazing, amazing day. Let me know if you want me to do any videos. Let me know what you like for scenery. I can do them in a different room. I can 
set up everything in a different way. Just let me know what you want and I'll do it for y'all. Y'all have a great day and have a great day. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Okay, y'all have a great day and send me a request. Follow me. Tell me about your friend. Tell me your friends. Tell your friends about me. I really want to grow my channel. I would love to, if it does start um, getting bigger then I'm going to invest in a better camera I'm gonna invest in some lights and things like that just to make it better I'll start editing but as of right now I'm just shooting some content out yes yeah, so y'all have a great day bye